Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Oxygen Not Included. So, uh, several of you have been, uh, well, chomping at the bit asking me to cover this game. And, well, I, uh, I, I am, uh, one that likes to deliver what people like. And also, I've been rather curious about this game as well. So, Perfect Storm has united. Here we are. Pinstar plays Oxygen Not Included. It is, uh, from Klee, uh, the same guys that brought you Invisible Ink, and, uh, also, uh, Don't Starve, and a bunch of other really awesome games. This is an early access, actually, pre- early access uh, development. So there may be bugs. There is a lot more content to be planned uh, for the final release of the game, but Klee is a good company. I trust them. Uh, so I, I do believe they will be delivering on their promises. That said, they have quite a bit of interesting stuff to play with, uh, even in this early state. I am liking the, uh, um, the uh, uh, art style, the gameplay of it, is basically survival colony management uh, in a 2D uh, style board uh, up and down rather than on a flat screen or a, a head down. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Let's dive right in, shall we? Yes, randomly and procedurally generated worlds every time you play. Basically, the idea is that you are teleported into the middle of an asteroid. Um, and therefore, having an abundant supply of oxygen is not a given. Hence the name of the game, Oxygen Not Included. So we start with uh, three of our uh, duplicates. These are basically clones of people who's, who are deposited in this asteroid because apparently it's probably too dangerous for, uh, uh, well, I guess real people, uh, even though these people are basically, um, um, uh, basically humans, but yeah. So let's see who we've got. And we can always hit the shuffle button, which I might do depending on the stats. Uh, we've got an, an uh, amphibious, Constru uh, architect with flatulence. Eh, I'm not liking that. Let's try someone else. Grease monkey. Nar Narcoleptic's not so bad. Yeah, they, they'll t sometimes just pass out randomly. But I'll take Grease monkey. That's plus five to tinkering. That's good for me. Here we've got athletics and cooking. Cooking's not as, uh, as important. Plus, we already have a cook over here. So let's re-roll here. Ooh. Um. Well. Uh, I guess they still have a plus. They still have a plus four learner. Um. So the the, the dumb scientist, but with divers lungs, so they use less uh, air, which is important. So yeah. Okay, we'll have the dumb scientist. That works for me. Uh, and then we don't need another scientist, so shuffle over here. Uh, ma ooh, mouth breather. No, that, that makes them use more oxygen. Uh, construction, medicine, creativity. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, Ruby might be a, uh... Might be a good one to have. Yeah, why not? I like. I would ideally like someone with digging, but people will learn digging over time. Um, and him having plus seven construction. Yeah. All right, let's do it. As for our colony name, um, we'll go with the classic here. Maybe that'll uh, embark us with uh, some much needed luck. Cause this game, uh, uh, from what I've heard, I've 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 dive, I've dove into it. I've I've played around a little bit with it. Uh, I have certainly not mastered that. This is not strategy and tactics by any measure. Uh, but I've I've played enough with it that I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, so I will give you what tips I can, and otherwise we'll see what we can do here. So let us dive in, shall we? All right, let's see what kind of map we have here. Alert! Your crew is awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection how they got there. Uh, it might be best to start digging. All right, we got to pause ASAP. All right, well, we've got uh, 
Ooh, we've got a nice supply of water. These two will probably merge with each other pretty quickly. Uh, ooh, and a nice supply of water down here. Um, ooh, some seeds over here. Oh, briar seeds. Mealwood seed. Lots and lots of copper over here. All right, I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking this. Although, uh, my... It's like a 50-50 mix of oxygen and carbon dioxide in here. Well, they'll get mixed together. Uh, I don't really... I'm not really going to be able to go down uh, quite so effectively. Namely because uh, all of these water things are probably going to merge with each other. Which is fine. I like having close access to water. That's, that's, not, that's not a complaint. That's not a complaint by any measure. Um, what I think I might do, however, is I do need to get at some of this dirt. Oh man, look at all this algae here. That's that, that dirt and algae is going to be important for us to get farming up and running right then. So, um, what, well, what's the first thing we need to get some, we need to get ourselves, um, we need to research some stuff here. Uh, at the moment we have nothing. We, we just have our printing pod. We've got our ration box with some, with, uh, Two, 20,000 kilocalories of rations uh, for these individuals here. We've got our three individuals here. Um, and yeah, we've got a little bit of breathing gas. This rock right here, oxalite, um, it, it emits oxygen for us. It's not going to be enough to keep the colony going, but it's enough to uh, keep us oh, safe for the moment. Uh, so yeah. Right then, uh, let's 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 start digging as as the game recommends. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to strip away a couple of these tiles here so that the oxalite has more room to well breathe, so to so, as, as they say. Uh, we we're gonna have to get at that one from the top. Uh, this kind of has Minecraft rules in that uh, everything stays where it is except for sand. Sand will fall if there's nothing below it, but everything else will generally stay as it is. Um, let's... Yeah, and that's copper ore. That should be enough to give us what we want. Um, yeah, we can dig down first. Yeah, we'll get. We'll dig down a little bit here. Actually, I'll cancel these two because people can go up to two. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's unpause here. So yeah, all all colonists, unless they have a specific uh, negative trait, they can do everything. They can dig. They can build stuff. They all have these sort of multi-purpose guns that allow them to do basically anything. Um, now, as far as our toilet, uh, we can put a toilet over here. Let's, uh, since... See, he's picking up some of the sandstone here, uh, being used as a basic building materials. And now we're, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. They shoot nuts and bolts at stuff to build it. So while these guys are, um, digging, the rest of them are, uh, are building this that way they'll have a way to go pote. Ooh, and we got ourselves a meal meal seed. That's excellent. More more seeds are good. Unless that okay, good. It didn't obliterate. Oh. I'm glad it didn't obliterate that. All right, now we're gonna need some space to. Uh, um, to put set up some of our research and power stuff here. This is yeah, that's a vacuum, um, which I mean it's not dangerous in and of itself. It'll it, the the pressure will neutralize itself, but that also suck up a lot of the oxygen in here and have not oxygen there. So that might not be the best of ideas. Uh, breaching into this, uh, we are gonna need this algae and we are gonna need some of this. So I think I might build upwards with a ladder here. Yeah, let's build up here. We don't want to take out the oxalite, but we can build next to it. That's fine. And I am fine breaching this chamber right here. Actually, this might be a good place to breach um, because it's got natural oxygen in it. I mean, yeah, a little carbon dioxide in there. But that's not going to kill you. 
It's not like it's like chlorine gas or anything like that. So we'll take all that. We've got um, something growing here, which is which is always good. Uh, that's um, mealwood's growing. We'll want to keep that alive there. And yeah, okay. Very important that you uh, get everything planned out. Yes, I know the colony requires a food source. We're we're slowly working on it. This is why I see like there's there's things you can get into that will give you food, like you can make food from dirt, um, but that's very resource inefficient. Uh, I don't really like that. Um, so I'm gonna try and get farming, basic farming research, which is an early tech, uh, first before and then just live off our rations here, uh, before we do any of that. Oh yeah, let's build a, uh, a storage container here. That way our idle people have something to do. Uh, they can just pick up, clean up all the crap on the floor and put it in the storage container while we're building up our ladder here. Yeah, we'll just let you, let that accept everything. Yay. Oh, lots of mealwood seed. That is a good thing. Because yeah, those will become important once we get our farming up and running. And actually, why don't we why don't we dig down here too, just so we can get more exposure for our uh, for our oxygen oxalite here. They have more room to uh, excrete their oxygen to keep our initial party alive here. And all this extra all this extra. Um, dirt and algae is very important to get as well. Now that sand is gonna fall, but that's to be expected. Right, let's see what we get out of this beast. Oh, buried muck root. That's 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 good for some extra free food. Now they can leap across uh, a one tile wide gap here, which is fine. Um, whoop. We had some crap fall down here. All right, let's, let's get all of this dirt here. Just so we have a nice flat surface. And then we can start building our power uh, stuff. Actually, we're also going to want to build our... Um... Actually, we might... Um... We might want to build... Uh... We might want to build this, because this, I think, will create a, a seed for us. Yes, it will make a seed. Excellent. So we can always plant that, uh, or replant that. All right, I think we need to get uh, beds before we get into power generations, because it's getting later. So. Actually, what's the, what's the air quality like over here? Yeah. We'll cancel that build. Um. We need beds in better. Well, closer over here is, is better oxygen. So we'll put the uh, we'll put the other stuff. Oh, well, what we really need to do is just wait for this stuff to because CO carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen. Uh, so that will slowly trickle its way down and into this little pit right here, which is kind of what I did on purpose, as I made this little pit for it. And I'll, I'll, because I, I, I have a, I have a way I figured out to deal with CO2, at least in the early game. Is it sustainable in the ultra long term? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I still need to learn that, but uh, I think we've got a, a good setup here. So let's, let's get our cots and we'll build our cots over here. So here, we'll build one cot, like, right here. One cot right here, and one cot right here. Yeah, that way they, ha that way they have some place to s um, sleep.
Alright, and each person gets the assigned their bed here. There we go. Alright, now we can start getting our power supply up so that we can... Now, the only power generation we have available to us at the moment is... And hang on, is this... Yeah, is uh, uh, person-powered uh, generation. Um, and then over here into stations, we need a research station. And we also need, back in the power category here, a tiny battery. You'll see why that's important later. And then we need to hook all these up with wires. But those are all fairly cheap and easy, and we don't need to build that there. Um, and those are built using the copper that we've been harvesting, this stuff. Uh, we've been we've been just naturally harvesting that just fine. So that's that's fine as is. All right, so we've got a generator. We've got a, a research thing, but I want to finish that battery first before I uh, um, before I uh, assign a research project because I don't want somebody running on that unless we're storing up the excess energy. All right, we got the wires going. Excellent. Okay, so now that that's stored, I'm good with selecting a research here. Farming tech. And then you have to tell it what kind of thing to... Oh, wait, that's the electrical wire. What kind of thing to... Oh, yeah, we need power here before it'll let me choose a, a thing. There we go. Novice research. Repeat build. Thank you. So we need 20 of those. At the moment, nobody's working the research station, but that's okay. Uh, he's charging up our battery here. Um, so even if nobody's using that, his running on this to generate power is not uh, is not being wasted here. It also the uh, thing also requires dirt to research. I don't know why, but yeah. Now see now. He's filled up this thing, and now we don't have to have some schmuck running on this constantly when someone's doing a science. In fact, we can tell it to not ask for somebody to come here till we have about 10% power. Alright, it is getting close to the end of cycle number one. I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves. We've got our beds built. We've got our science on. Yep, there we go. Into bed you go, guys. All right, I think that's been a pretty successful day number one. Ah. Now, the downside to the battery is that it will slowly, slowly um, lose charge. Like, like it, it zapping itself like this is slowly draining it. But it's it does so at such a slow rate that it's not really... It's not really a horrific... Um, detriment, you know, if you know what I mean. All right, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to dig further down here because we want to get a CO2 pit um, for, for something I have in mind. Um, we also need a ladder since we're going to be digging deeper and deeper. Um, so, and actually a neat, neat little trick is if you're going to dig down and you know you need a ladder, just plan the, oops, the ladder where you want to uh where you want it to go and they'll know that the the spaces where you've put a ladder where there's well something that they know that uh that they just need to dig that out so that's essentially giving them a dig order yes i know inf insufficient oxygen uh generation we're working on it we're working on it so we got one guy doing a science these two are going to be building us and digging us uh, our ladder here which is great because we do we do want to get that farming tech up and running here. Pretty soon though, they're all going to be taking a potty and food break. Since they all since none of them have things that make them eat or potty faster or or slower than normal. The other nice thing about digging into dirt randomly here is that um, we're getting um... all right. So Otto's chomping there. Elvira uh, doesn't look like a chick. Um, 
is uh, uh, doing their business. So yeah, basically what happens with the outhouse here is you, uh, um, they get, um, you add, you fill it with dirt and as people use it, it becomes contaminated at dirt. Um, you kind of probably know what it is contaminated with, but then there's another building that we'll be getting momentarily here that allows you to basically recycle contaminated dirt into fertilizer, which can help your farming. So yeah, uh, now there are going to be more long-term solutions to the potty problem. Uh, did he just level up from taking a dump? Uh, okay, dude. I, I, I don't think he leveled up in, in pooping, but uh, it, it just the timing of that level up. All right, Otto, you keep doing your thing. Are you our, our dumb scientist? No, you're our chef. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of how... Um, like, I wish I could tell them to put our scientist on this uh, so that our scientist, our, our one with the higher learning skill... Um, was able to, uh, and why are you saying you need to go to the, yeah, bathroom? There's a bathroom available for you, dude. You better not poop on the floor. Well, go to the bathroom. Come on, man. It's available. Restroom out of reach? What the heck are you talking about, dude? Oh! Oops. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that that kind of that kind of just crumbled. So that's why it was out of reach. Ooh. Sorry about that, man. Well, Uh, sorry, man. Oops. Ew. And now we've got contaminated water. I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize that that had crumbled. Jeez, man. Yeah, we gotta get this contaminated water somewhere that it's not going to hurt us. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's tell them to mop, mop up liquid messes here. I don't know where they're going to put that contaminated water. And I don't think I have anything that can deal with contaminated water at the moment. There is stuff that you can down the line deal with contaminated water. But yeah, we gotta... We gotta definitely, uh... Mop all this up. Because we can't be having them sticking yuck. Okay, shake that one off. <laughs> Alright, we got an idler here. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do to make it go further. So faster. So we're gonna do a lot we're gonna do a bit more aggressive digging here. Um, we do not want to dig too close to the water because we don't want the water flowing down into this hole. Uh, what we do want to do is dig this way because I think this is far enough away that that water's not going to start leaking. Um, and we want a nice, we want a nice, um, oh, what the heck, we'll, uh, put the ladder a couple spaces down. We want a nice, uh, um, CO2 concentration area. Uh, and you'll see why in a little bit. And yes, as you can see, stuff will occasionally crumble. It's unfortunate that we lost a piece of that oxalite, but given how many times people were uh, stepping on it, I don't really... 
Uh, I, I'm not really too surprised. We could also build another storage container here. Just so we can hold all this stuff. And then once we get our farming up and running here, we'll have a means to uh, get it. Yeah, good. More seeds. More seeds. This is what we need. These mealwood seeds. We've got coal. We've got dirt. We've got more copper. This is what we want. Oop. And our, narco our narcoleptic... Uh, um, uh, fell asleep. I know. Are you our dumb scientist, Otto? No, you're our chef. Ruby. No, that's Otto. Ruby. That's Otto. Ruby, were you our dumb scientist? Why do you keep showing me Otto? Oh, because that's Otto. So Ruby is our architect, of course. So the one, our dumb scientist is not, is the one who's not Elvira, who's the one who's not sciencing. Well, you are true to your name, the dumb scientist. But pretty soon we'll have add, have made enough of these to uh, uh, produce our, uh, our the stuff that we need. Where are you guys going? Oh yeah, you're you're recharging the battery because it, it hit the 10% threshold so he knows to get on and he'll just keep running um, until, I mean, the energy he's producing now is also powering the research station uh, and then, but he's making more than even the research station uses so ev all the excess goes into the battery. Uh, all these extra seeds, I like, I like this setup, I like where we're he headed with this. Um, I know, we still need to work on food, but that's why we need the farming tech here. We are, we're going to be quite busy once we get our farming tech up and running here. Ooh, look at all these mealwood seeds. I like it. You'll see why these are so important in, in, in due time. Yeah, for now, we'll just keep uh, keep on keeping on here. This would be an interesting place to actually make our, our CO2 pit. All right, see how these little purple bars are down here? These guys, the carbon dioxide has become so concentrated down here um, that these guys are having trouble breathing. Now, they are smart enough to know how to hold their breath. You know, they know that, oh, okay, the air down here is not so good. I should hold my breath. Um, but when holding their breath, you know, I mean, eventually they're going to need to take a, take a good breath. Um, and if they're not able to, um, then, then, you know, they'll, they have to, they have to stop what they're doing and, and escape to, uh, better, you know, better pastures, so to speak. All right, but it is bedtime. And this is why I wanted their bedrooms higher up, because oxygen rises, CO2 falls. Well, this is a lot of CO2 in here, too. I'm surprised that this, uh, this sandstone has not crumbled yet. It's not even sandstone, it's just freaking sand. Usually this would crumble by itself and these two pools would equalize themselves. But that's okay. Contaminated water, oof. Slightly toxic gas, granite, 
chlorine gas. Yeah, as you uh, little little uh, thing over here, as you get further and further away from your starting spot, the terrain becomes a bit more dangerous. All right, let's speed things up. Okay. All right, yeah, you guys go back at it. Ah, uh, crap, more of our oxy oxalite uh, is crumbling. That's not good. Here, we'll tell you to cancel that dig so that you guys will be able to get up here and... Oh, actually, maybe that would be a bad idea. Yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna entomb him. Oh boy. Um... Yeah. Here, my baby, hold together. Yeah, our oxalite uh, is starting to crumble here. Uh, we gotta build a tile here. Maybe I shouldn't have had them running across it. Um, because that probably is what's doing damage to it. Uh, but we finished our farming tech, and just uh, not a moment too soon. Uh, so what we want to do here is we need to dig. Um, gotta dig these two. Dig those two, or or these two? Actually, yeah. Let's not dig those. I'm going to dig this way. Because this is some CO2 that we want to, we actually want to flow down there. Because we've got something new. An algae terrarium. This algae terrarium basically will create uh, oxygen for you, but if it is placed in an area of very high uh, CO2, we'll also recycle that CO2. Uh, so we want to basically make an area of concentrated CO2 and build oxygen, uh, algae terrariums in there so that we can uh, recycle that. Food is beyond reach. What you talking about, Willis? Oh, because of him. Oh, he must have dug up... Uh... Yeah, you gotta get yourself out of there, buddy. So that you can go to the bathroom. I do not want another potty emergency. Stop eating! Stop eating! I know you're running out of oxygen. Stop eating! Otto! You gonna die. Otto, you gonna die. Yeah. Yes, I know we have insufficient water at the moment. That's why we're tunneling here so we can get at the water. And yes, I'm purposely not queuing up another research task because I want all of our guys uh, working on actually getting our farming stuff up and running. Because there's a lot of stuff we need to get up and running. Yeah, and all this is stand stone, which does not fall, thankfully. Uh, great place to fall asleep, Otto. I guess there is a... <laughs> it just mined it out from under him. And he falls right back to sleep. This is still not a great place to fall asleep, Otto. It, not, not, not great oxygen quality down there, dude. Alright, yeah, and busting this open will invite all this carbon dioxide to come down this way. But this is kind of what we want. Because now we have access to, uh, um, yes, water. And we can also build a couple more terrariums. 
which is precisely what we want. So these things will start recycling all of this lovely carbon dioxide down here and uh, making some lovely oxygen for us. Bed beyond reach. Oh, for Pete's sake, that whole thing is crumbled. Um, okay. And now, once those are built, we're gonna get some we're gonna get some uh, planter boxes going here. Planter boxes also have the effect of uh, increasing um, uh, the appeal of an area, um, so that's why I'm putting it up in by our living quarters here. We'll put one here. Um, since all of our uh, CO2 runs down this way, I think I might put one. Algae terrarium. Uh, nah. We'll we'll make this another planter box. Right up here. And with the hay, we'll do a couple more of these. And with the hay, we'll do uh, a set of them over here. We we need a lot of planter boxes. But we got a lot of seeds, which is really good. I was one of my uh, ex one of my test areas uh, test saves before. Um, there were just no freaking seeds to be had. It was just it was just nightmarishly low on seeds. Like I had all the all the tech and and whatnot to plant our stuff, all these planters, but no seeds. Here we are gloriously abundant with the seeds. And you see, this is why I wanted to get uh, get all of our, our farming stuff set up before I have them resume uh, their stuff here. Oop, and we have a new duplicate available. So we this you occasionally get a new uh, a new person you can print. Um, let's see, no no broth breather biohazard. Uh, early bird and grease monkey. Well, you've got skill in medicine, so that might uh, cancel out your uh, things. Can't dig it. No, I need someone. I need people that can dig. Yeah, let's go with Doris. Welcome aboard, Doris. I hope you enjoy our stay with us. Let's uh, let's build you a base or a base, a uh, not a station, furniture, a cot is what I was looking for. And what the hey, we'll get a uh, a flower vase right here. Oh, they must be putting them, putting these away in the in the uh, in the storage, which is why they were temporarily uh, listed as not being available. But I don't think we'll be having a long-term food situation. And now that we have our fourth person, I am came with. Uh, uh, let's get uh, power regulation. That will give us access to a better battery. Oh, is there something we can plant here? We do not have a briar seed, is what we were looking for. Is that a buried muckroot, mealwood, bristol briar? Well, we'll eventually get access to that. Um, let's dig these two out and uh, put another terrarium here. Actually, I don't even need to tell them that. I can just say build me an algae terrarium here and they'll know to dig that thing out. All right, I think... Uh, oh yeah, refinement, uh, compost heap. We do need that. 
Um, let's put it over here. That looks like a good place for it. Oh yeah, we have to assign that to Doris. So come nighttime. So how are we doing here? Yeah, see, we still have we have still have some pretty funky, uh, um, funky uh, carbon dioxide, but that's what these things are feeding off of. Um, they're feeding off of this. So, and this is why I wanted an extra one of these down here, because it takes quite a few of these to churn through all the carbon dioxide here, but at least it gives us some oxygen. Now, it's still saying insufficient oxygen generation, um, which is worrisome. Emitting oxygen 40 G per second. Yeah, 43 kilojoules per second. So we may need to spam a few more of these things. Uh, we can always just widen this. I mean, for Pete's sake, we can get uh, we can get uh, this going down here. Or heck, we could just get the ladder further down and make this little catchment area our our. Because I mean, this thing's already full of carbon dioxide. We might as well fill the uh, fill the area with uh, purifiers down here. What abyssalite? I don't, I don't want to know what that is. Uh, I don't want to dig into it. But this is just carbon dioxide. It's not toxic. Contaminated oxygen, on the other hand. Yeah. We'll want to stay away. Ah, mealwood is... Hmm. i got a mixture here. But yeah, this is what the mealwood looks like when it's fully mature. Let's uh, fast forward here. All right, we got an idler. Can't have idlers. So the question becomes, do I want to go this way or do I want to go down for our uh, to expand our, our situation here? Um, kind of want to go down. I kind of want to go down. I mean, no, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna erase those down there. Um, yeah, we'll dig straight down like that. Because these are still doing their good job, and will even though even if they cease to become the the most the, the deepest of the uh, areas here. Yeah, we're only making about half the O2 that we need. So we definitely need more of these, but it makes it only makes sense to tap more into these. All right, we're chomping away at our at our wafers here. Yeah, I really should have protected that oxalite better. Because, like, this stuff is still uh, oxalite blocked. Yeah, even here, you can see there's a, a there's a pit. A little tiny pit forming of this stuff. And our narcoleptic is falling asleep again. Yeah, you can see there's a little, there's a roll of it here. Where this thing is just working, uh, working overtime at, at purifying, but it can only handle so much. But it's making a little buffer of breathable oxygen here that's slowly rising up while the CO2 continues falling. And luckily, because this is all CO2, but it's below us, it's not going to start flowing up and uh, contaminating our oxygen supply. We need to start building uh, lots and lots of algae in here, and we'll slowly turn all of this carbon dioxide into more oxygen for us. These guys are going to have to manage their breathing. I do want to get to one of those briar ferns. 
Yeah, you can see both of them are holding their breath down here because this ain't uh, this ain't happy times. Now you can't just infinitely spam these because these guys re these guys actually consume algae and a lot of water. Um, so eventually they will churn through a lot of your supplies. Uh, granted, they are giving us something rather critical in return, so um, it's not like we are wasting them. It's kind of weird that this water is, uh, yeah, not. Uh, that, 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 that's kind of weird. But hey, we got some oxalite freed up here. And here, let's continue freeing it up here. Sure as hell I ain't gonna dig it out like that. Oh good, more, uh, more mealwood seeds. They'll, they'll uh, mine like two tiles away from what they're going for. Oof. Yeah, they're getting bad, uh, they're getting bad oxygen levels even from here. Yeah, the water physics here are interesting, to say the least. Eventually, I need to push through here. In fact, I think I might do that. Dig under there and then just pop this sand right here. And here, what we'll do is we'll get, we'll start the terrariums going right now. Yeah, and this is, it, despite this being in carbon dioxide, it is still fresh water. There you go, breathe it in. This one thing is, this, this one terrarium is just working overtime. Yeah, dig these up so I can build more terrariums, because this is going to be my base level down here. And then the rest of this, this is this is all algae that we need to feed all of these terrariums. Briar seed, hey hey, that's something we need. All right, out of power. I mean, they can, yeah, they can work in here, but the faster we get uh, a whole line of terrariums set up here, the better we will uh, be able to do here, and the faster we'll be able to con uh, convert all of this uh, contaminated, uh, well, not even, con not contaminated, this unbreathable carbon dioxide into useful stuff. I mean, the algae down here will go crazy. They'll love it. Our, uh, our dupes, not so much in the way of loving it. But it's got to be done because oxygen is not included. All right. Hey, our dumb scientist is actually working on that. Good job. All right. Good. Good. Very good, dumb scientist. Yeah, and this, this kind of hurts the efficiency down here. Ooh, but they got this one up and running. Good. Now this one by itself will not uh, will not suffice. Um. Yeah, but look at that. He's he is considering this area a breathable 
uh, place to go to. And this area used to be 100% uh, carbon dioxide. And hey, we get some freebie water to water all these with. So yeah, let's dig through all this algae here. Luckily, this stuff is quick to... Uh, but yeah, we get little little specks of um, and actually, yeah, this one's growing, so I'm gonna just let it uh, let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Um, liquid piping sounds good to me because we might need to do that to tap into some of these others and hope that this contaminated water and contaminated oxygen does not seep into either of these. Yeah, get the heck out of there, guys. Do not fall asleep down there. Because down that way, um, asphyxiation lay? Sure. <laughs> oh! No wonder no one's built this. Hang on. Nobody can get to it. That's why no one's built it. We gotta carve a way down there. About to say we need. We gotta get our thing up and running because our uh, our uh, well as uh, as the uh, as they say in the our esser is full. All right, good. You deliver the dirt. Um, could you, maybe, please, maybe, maybe. Yeah, we could. I guess we could. Uh, I guess we could do that. Give them like a little step up here. Yeah, I know. We still need more. We still need more of these to to get our oxygen generation up. But I do want to transform all this delightful carbon dioxide into. Uh, Full bore oxygen here. Let's look at our, uh, yeah, see, we're getting more dots of blue here, and eventually they'll find their way up here. Up, up here. And meanwhile, all of our carbon dioxide. Uh, we'll find its way down here, which will these things will process, including once we tap into this lovely pocket of carbon dioxide here. And why? Oh yeah, that's contaminated oxygen. I think that was that, I think that was some poo gas from when uh, that guy peed the floor. It it's not going to kill anybody. It just kind of sticks around. There is something you can do to sort of uh, uh, clean it out of the air, but uh, we're not at that tech level yet. And it takes five uh, cycles for these planter boxes to come to maturity. So while it looks like we are uh, scraping at the bottom of the barrel here, these will come uh, ready at precisely the time that we need them to come ready, which is kind of the whole point. Let's um, let's let's do some prioritizing here. Uh, let's prioritize six each of these. Yeah, you give her the dirt, and then, yeah, you start digging all this. And you gonna need to go potty. Alright, we still have some, we still have plenty of stuff down here. And we're still siphoning away this water. I mean, once we clear this out, we'll we'll pop the sand here and just uh, start grabbing this stuff. I'm really surprised that the water hasn't started seeping through here. Maybe it is. Maybe it is slowly seeping down here, and this little pool will constantly be refilling itself.
All right, we're getting some sandstone. Getting that built. All right, good. Getting that recharged. Excellent. All right, you're building this up. How we doing? Uh, you gotta go potty. And yeah, see, even more and more and more, our our oxygen is is flowing. Now, one thing I might want to do is trim away this area, so that way the oxygen that's getting trapped up here it will f naturally flow up here, because this stuff is just gonna get trapped up here and kind of wasted, because no one's gonna be breathing it. Um, either that, or just tunnel down and make a little roof to it. Actually, yeah, I might do that. It's, let's just make a little roof to it, a little vent, if you will. Actually, I could just wait for freaking gas science. Let's uh, let's actually use some gas science. Uh, I'll I'll make that sort of the last thing I do on my video here is actually get some gas plumbing going here. Cause why not? Although, hmm, that would require a gas pump. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. Beautiful. And what the heck, we'll get, we'll be able to fit a few more algae colonies down there. I'm curious why these guys have not still Still hasn't uh, done these. Oh well. But at least we've used up all the water down here. Uh, we do not want to go digging any further this way or any further down. Uh, because bad. <laughs> Very bad. How, how's the oxygen in the rest of the base? Yeah, pretty darn good, except for up here and then over here, with this is sort of like a little pocket. Um, and this will eventually make its way down. I mean, we could actually, to help help it make its way down, dig that down here, because that will let it naturally flow down. I do the same with the oxalite, but we're not digging up oxalite. You just don't do that. make another power area with this. Food beyond reach. Hmm. Stifled atmospheric pressure is too low. What? Curious. What is the atmospheric pressure? Eh, it's good enough. And we don't have the you're not making enough uh, oxygen warning anymore. So that's always good. Yeah, we just need to get this tunnel going here, and then I think our little, our natural span here will work out quite nicely. Don't know if I'll put more algae um, think, uh, colonies here, since the most of the uh, work will be done down here. But it should still, oh, very muckroot. Well, let's dig that up, that's good for food. Yeah, I don't like that contaminated water sitting this close to the good water. I do not want to lose that good water. But that buried muck root is a good find because that will keep our temporary uh, food uh, storage. Yeah, this thing, if it can live in chlorine gas, probably not a thing you want wandering around your colony. There we go. Yeah, 
I think we are, I just want to see if this little, this little impromptu vent here will work for us. Because, yeah, we should be having, yeah, a whole lot of very breathable oxygen stored up here. And we want that very breathable oxygen to make its way further up. Meanwhile, we want another vent for, for the not-so-breathable oxygen to make its way down. Well, all right, we're almost there. Oop, our narcoleptic fell down. Why do you have the... the uh... Sheesh. Yeah, once again, we're getting stifled here for our too low of atmospheric pressure. It's almost like there's, like, it's not that there's not enough oxygen. It's just that there's just not enough stuff. Uh, but that's actually, that should actually remedy itself when I get this little vent covered up here. So let's see if we can, if that, re if that remedies it. you think with them snoring here and just putting out all this carbon dioxide, it would solve the problem, but... Hmm. Yeah, because they're not going to grow when, uh... When the, the oxy... The, uh, the pressure is too low. In fact, what I probably will do here... Well, I'm going to wait for them to dig this last piece here, because it's so critical. And I want to make sure that this, uh, I want to see what actually happens when they dig this and see if this uh, solves our uh, gas pressure problem here. I think it's just because there's too much empty space here. I mean, the only other thing I could think of is if the, uh, um, uh, if they they consume the carbon dioxide but it doesn't produce the same amount of oxygen in return it would actually be sort of creating more of a vacuum um in our in our little thing here yeah everyone's got to water all the algae here there you go bam that should get uh that should get things moving that should get all of this built up oxygen flowing upwards um, and then flowing upwards again so that the rest of the colony can experience it and enjoy it. Yeah, see, this area is considered breathable or barely breathable. There just isn't quite enough of it. <coughs> Excuse me. And we got the unbreathable carbon dioxide here. Still got all this stuff it's churning through. Yeah, it's just not enough. We we need more. You know what we need? And and uh, what I would do once we finished our liquid science here is get up gas science and have some piping to pump oxygen up here. Because clearly it's not flowing fast enough just naturally through that little vent hole right there. <coughs> but that will have to be for another time so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment good bad or indifferent your feedback is always welcome so until next time this has been pinstar signing out see ya Ooh.